Hey guys, and welcome to Pandora's Tower, part one. Well, I guess let's cut right to it and get started. But first, I want you to relish at this moment right here. Just listen. Is that not beautiful? Is that not just beautiful? Alright, let's start. Well, um, I guess for those of you who don't know, which will be no one, because this is my first video, um, this isn't really what I intended this channel to be. I was more intending sort of a retro-y thing, but uh, my PVR does not not agree with Nintendo, well, my old school stuff, old school consoles, but I am very excited for this game. Very excited. So, we will begin our maiden voyage with Pandora's Tower. So, are you sitting comfortably? Then let us begin. That scene in the background sort of gives you the idea, possibly, of what, what's, where we will be. But let's start with a new game. Okay, I got my practice file down here. Slot one, English. Yep. Now, it begins. Oh man, but uh, I guess to, while this is playing, there's not really a whole lot of dialogue, maybe. Well, I guess some story, some exposition, but that will come later. Um, man, I guess this channel, the purpose of being, well, just, you know, it's not really not doing it to, you know, to, you know try and be a completionist and you know, really get through these games, get everything. It's sort of just for me to play some of my favorite games and vlog a bit, so... Yeah, you'll probably hear a lot of me talking, so... Well, that might be the point. But, oh... Here's something has gone terribly wrong. It's been an explosion. Something's there. I'll stop narrating so you can enjoy. This way. And already... Oh... God, I'm, I'm missing some context here. We're running from someone. <sighs> we appear to have lost. Although the woman with the giant skeleton on her back, that some more context needed. Now we're walking. If anyone has any idea what's going on, because. I've, I've already seen this, and I still don't really know. But, uh, we'll get a tidbit, I guess. This girl, right here. If you don't act to help her, she won't be human much longer. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Slowly but surely, she will become a beast. <laughs> So we have our main protagonist, um, I believe his name is Aaron, Aaron, I may be wrong. We are following Mavda, the old woman, to, uh, somewhere to, uh, I guess, uh, lift the curse on, oh my, I'm gonna be reamed out for not remembering her name, oh jeez. Thirteen towers. Oh, oh my! Um, I'd like to meet the engineer who built that thing. Cause, jeez. So that's where we're going. Oh yes, not not intimidating at all. No doubt you're keen to return Elena. to your yeah, old no, self. Elena, I knew that. You know, blatant love interest of the game. I. Name's Lane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Still hideous, no matter how many times you see it, isn't it? I. Yeah, I've already seen it. Still. Still pretty jarring. 
then I... Come, let's not tarry here. No doubt the army are close behind. The army. Don't know who they are. Like a blatant lack of context. We may be in need of some exposition. The observatory. This chain. Take it. Oh. It's a very, uh. You so I guess that'll be our. Hold of all that beast <sighs> I have no idea. <laughs> the flesh is for a ceremony, you see. To get her back to her own. Alright, so we. I guess what we're Martin, trying to do is we're. I want to to collect too. flesh. Master flesh. So as we can cure. Her curse. I'll be back. I'll be back. You'd best head off without delay. I agree. Let's get to it. Give me a chance without all this story with stuff going on. Give me a chance to vlog a little bit. <laughs> I will. I will be careful. Oh. Yes. Continue. Treetop Tower. Oh. Oh. And we're in. We are in the game. Finally. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just head up here. You know, some... Some... Beautiful architecture going on that I'm not one to judge, and a chain similar to ours. Very blue. I guess now this gives me a chance to, uh, you know, talk about, uh, what I have, what I have planned, how my day's been. Ah, whatever comes to mind. But yeah, like I, like I had said, I never really planned to do something like this. Originally, my plan was to do Ninja Gaiden, which I had spent many, many weeks practicing and practicing to get that game, and I still have yet to beat it. Got all the way third form of the boss, and yeah, uh, I guess, oh, I can climb with X. I am playing with the, uh, with the, uh, classic controller, hooked up to my Wiimote, so, see so, yeah, how we can, uh, that's what I'm doing, so I guess this little cursor thing is a little awkward to use with the right joystick, but. Eh, I'll figure it out eventually. Still getting used to the controls. Yeah, like, I really wanted to do Ninja Gaiden, but, uh, my, uh, PVR I'm using it doesn't like old consoles. Something about, uh, oh. Uh, uh, don't, don't mind me. Just continue what you're doing. Assuming this is what we're here for. Well, I know it's what we're here for. Well, have at the. <laughs> oh, ah, oh. You block with left guard, I guess. Also dodge with that left stick. Just, ma just mash the buttons. This is. Oh, how about the? This is where. All right, pull out item with B. Here we have it. The beast flesh. Delicious. Ugh. Eh. I've seen worse. I... Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I've seen worse. Oops. We go up here. Can we get that? Oh, wait, oh, there's medicine. Um, is that for us? Dry bear, okay. Oh, more shiny dust. Stuff just all over the place. But yeah, so maybe if I can get that working, I will just, you know, start up. I got a ton of old games I would love to play, you know. Just because I really kind of lacked motivation lately. 
and trying to get through like I started up Super Metroid the other day and I was just like and like ah, I, could, I can't decide what I want to play so I really want to stick to something and just just play it but I need to sort of sort of using this just to motivate myself to play something but uh, it wasn't really working with my PBR but just just got Pandora's Tally the other day and uh, it's working quite well so all right to the observatory um but yeah that's pretty much what I'm trying to do so yeah that's <laughs> after Pandora's Tower maybe you know if I can get it working I'll do it as a side project all depends I'll probably do it, end up doing it as a side project if I can get it uh if I can get it working oh man this is this place is quite lovely oh man sunset some water you can overlook that terrible evil pit ah it's quite nice Relaxing. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I guess we came here to do something, didn't we? Flesh, yes, flesh. Oh, oh uh, left bumper trigger shows me my objective. All right, go inside. What's going to happen next? <laughs> I guess everyone's just been oh. Uh, Waiting for me. Yes, yes, I'm back. Back in one piece, I see. Aaron. Ugh. So, have you brought us back flesh for the ceremony? Yes, I brought back flesh. Yes, I agree with Aaron with my uh, answer. Here. Go on now. Um. Oh. You know. I'm sure, you know. Take her back the right seasonings? Ugh. She's just gonna eat it raw. I don't, I don't even know if I could stomach that. Purple heart, whatever that is. Folks in this country are believers in Ios. You're forbidden to eat meat, oh. aren't Forbidden you? to eat meat. Now this oh. little morsel is <laughs> I, oh, man, that, does that put a block on this relationship very early on? I mean, I myself. I I love myself some meat. I mean, just ten minutes ago, you know. Wait, is, is salmon meat? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Come now, girl, eat it down. Yeah, just eat it. It's raw, raw. You know, put put hair on your chest. Well, if you don't, I I gotta sympathize with her. I don't know if I would do that either. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Monstrous. And there'll be no happy ending for you and young Aaron. <laughs> oh, that seems to have uh, pushed a bit of a button. <laughs> oh, God. That looks horrible. I mean, not that I'm saying anything against her, but uh, she's got, you got a little something on your shoulder there. Oh. Maybe that, that maybe that's a bit hurtful. I I feel terrible. Oh. 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 Vegetarians or was that vegan? No meat? I don't know. Oh. 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 She's looking at it. She's thinking about it. Oh. Well, it's very soft, whatever it is. Just bite off a hunk of it. <laughs> Ugh, I'm, that can't taste good. This game is very, very pretty, this game. It's like, not that, not. Just very good looking for being a year or so old. Now it's finally, finally come to North American shores. It's a late. Uh. Okay, I, I can't even describe what I'm seeing. You can see it too. Oh. Well, geez, I probably would want a nap too after eating a giant hunk of meat like that. I can't blame her. Skeleton guy looks fascinated. What's going on? I am as well. Oh, 
some exposition. Finally. In the heart of the continent of Imperia lies the kingdom Imperia. of Illyria. At its remotest edge, hundreds of leagues from the capital of Helicon, a forbidding wasteland stretches. Okay, they're throwing around a lot of names and places I have no idea where they are. Or what they are. Fictional places. In this desolate expanse where none may set foot, the earth has been torn asunder to form a rift extending over thousands of leagues, known simply as the Scar. At ah. its center, suspended above this fathomless fissure, there, are the thirteen towers. Towers of all sizes, interlink and intertwine, each playing their part in the intricate design, fusing to become one single vast fortress. Held in place by twelve chains that grip the walls of the surrounding cliffs, the towers loom like a spider in its web, seeming to inhabit a space beyond the normal world. The bristling turrets of the towers serve a purpose. They bind the earth together, preventing the scar from widening and tearing oh. the world itself apart. So, should we be here then if this is some vitally important structure to the earth's existence? Huh? Pandora's Tower. Trademark. <laughs> ah, there's Aaron. Nice haircut, Aaron. Wish my hair was that thick. I really do hate this haircut I got a couple days ago. For some reason, she she thinned my hair. I have very fine hair, so. Well. You're back. You made nope. it. I, you did see me about ten minutes ago when you were eating. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, oh. Aaron. Oh. And you too, Mavda. A little bit of a moment. Oh. This is wonderful. Then there's Mavda. Go back to my village. Come on, look her. Don't get too far ahead of yourself, young lady. The curse is far from being lifted. Mm -hmm. There, on your back. <laughs> not so long as that. You know, I, I got nothing against really tattoos. That was not bad. <laughs> I could live with it, and, but you know, if it's turned someone into a monster. The curse hasn't oh. been lifted. What do you mean? But I'm normal again. Ah, here we go. Only for a while. So long so. as you have that on your back, the curse will slowly take hold. Ah. Uh, man, I, th I thought that might have been a little bit of a short game. The meat. I can't stomach any more. Ah, you can do it. You know, just throw some spices on it oh, next time. I'm afraid you're going to have to. Ugh. Otherwise, things are only going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. The if they can the get worse than they are, uh, would end up just eat the meat. To eat meat. Uh, it's a bit, bit harsh, Mavta. Right, yeah, why is this happening? Why? That's because of the curse, of course. Well, we knew that. Thank you for that. Why is Why she cursed? Indeed. <laughs> well, you're useful. Um, yeah, I guess there was a whole city of people there, weren't there? Poor Elena is not the first to be cursed in this way. All sorts of things. Some fell into the hands of the Illyrian army and were... Dealt with. <laughs> Dealt with. Ah, delightful. Um, how do we reverse it? I think we know that already. Is to keep bringing beast flesh. That will only weaken the curse. When Elena consumes the flesh, her changes will reverse. But this, if you leave oh. her as she is. The poor so... girl's transformation will continue unabated. Huh. If you can't slow the curse's progress. So how do we never... lift the curse? Oh, her name's Mavta, but might as well ask. You've got a dialogue a option. Like a sieve. My name's Mavda, and don't you forget it. I I hadn't. Yeah, what is what is that on your back? Um, some skeletal man with, you know. Tentacle arms? You forgot already. 
Deary me, I introduced you. This old boon. fellow is my boon companion. He's rather boon. What is a boon? shy and retiring, I'm afraid. Oi, you up there. Oh, he's just an old man. Well, if that isn't the best aged old man I've ever seen. Not that he's. Uh, uh. Yeah, who are you? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, just who are you? My people are the well, best could you clarify me for me? Traveling merchants. Okay. Alright, I don't have any more questions. So this is to be my life. To be cooped up in here, eating foul flesh. Uh, it's not so bad. Better than being a terrible tentacle monster. You look on the bright side. Be an optimist. Like Can I not lift the curse? Lifting the curse, you say? Well, now. Oh, do tell me, Master, please. Yes, tell us. Tell us. I mean, which she probably hasn't said, you know, the Aaron, weeks we were going out here you for. You must head back to the towers. Deep within each one, a master awaits you. A master? Well, that doesn't sound foreboding Defeat at all. These masters Not threatening in the least. Return here with their flesh. If Elena eats this flesh, the mark on her back will fade, and she may be human once more. No! I ah, won't hear of it! How can I ask Aaron to face such dangers for my sake? Well, I don't mind. I mean, but, you know, if you're in agreement, I don't have to go fight masters or a giant pit. <laughs> nah. Of course. That's easier said than done. Well, I guess why is going on? Uh, oh, man, I am so happy to be playing me. this game. I mean, I've just I like been working for the past for three you. weeks. It's like just, oh, it's so relaxing. I've been actually playing a video game for the past three weeks, pretty much. But ah. Uh, I mean, I worked yesterday for nine hours. Nine hours. Uh, may not seem like much, but without any breaks, just... I was working at trade fair, and it was just walking around and around. I mean, I... It wasn't too, too bad, but, like, checked a lot of garbages and ate Werther's. Keep walking by this one Costco booth. They had a bowl of Werther's just... Eating them. Probably had to refill that bowl several times due to me alone. Now to take just a little but, uh, I guess there was a magic show that I that I wasn't allowed to watch. It's for and, uh, sake. You know, there were a massage booth, which I wasn't allowed to go to either. But there were pancakes. That, I guess that was the bright side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, I hear you, man. <laughs> oh, what is she doing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I take it this is your first time. Quite first time with what? Is it not? Magic? Uh, I can't explain how that magician at Trade Fair yesterday made that five dollar bill and go inside that apple, but you know, yeah, it's the first time with this. Uh, ties people together. Aaron, hold out your hands. Aaron. It seems you know what you're doing, so I will entrust this to you. It's not on my arm. Now, wherever you go, seems you will already know how to use that. Be connected to Elena. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I guess we can call that the end of the first episode. Um. If you guys are enjoying this, feel free to stick around. If you're not, nothing stopping you from going someplace else. But I will. See you guys next time. Bye.